Thanks to Stu for helping out with doing bonus races today on day three, doing more of this fair share this week's do. So thanks for that. This is the Irish Juvenile Hurdle. Next is a grade one over two miles. And at the top we've got Diamond Geezer for Graham Clitterbuck, Journey of the Legend, Joshua Sutherland, Tons of Sobs, Martin Leland Woods, Takes James Shea, Clever Cookie, Paul Rhodes, Fresno Witch, Vinnie Gerard, Hunter's Camera, James Shea, Keep Alive, Leon Van Rensburg, Ben Benici's got two million a year, and Nottingham Gale, Parada Strike for Paul Rhodes, Ring of Kites, Martin Leland, Shinobi, David Robertson, Trapani, Darren Thompson, Twist Sarah, David Robertson, and Valencia for Craig Allen. So 16 this time then. I dare say half of these will be in the triumph next week. The other half will be in the handicap. They're away and racing. I think it's the only four-year-old hurdle this week. And Piranha Strike is in the lead. Makes you think we're going to get two reasonably small-sized fields at Cheltenham next week in the two four-year-old races. But it's Miliana Year, who's just about the leader from Keep Alive and Piranha Strike. Rainbow, uh, sorry, Ring of Kites down on this near side in the stripe jacket is to the 4-2, looking towards the back, the second Ben Benici horse, Notting Gale is down the back with Shinobi as they get to the first of the eight, which they're all safely to the other side of, with Miliana Year wide on the track, and Ring of Kites disputing the lead, but now Twist Sarah comes through to just take it up, although nothing seems all that keen to go on, and they're going at a bit of a crawl as they pass the winning post with a circuit to go, and Twist Sarah is in the lead by Baron Nick to keep alive who's gone around the outside in second then Ring of Kites is third then Piranha Strike and Milana Year with Diamond Geese off that one then Valencia and Fresno Witch is getting a bit closer as they finally get to the second which they're all safely over again with Notting Gale just getting a little bit detached at the back Piranha Strike's come through to lead over the third which again they're all over nicely although Hunter Camera was a little untidy towards the back but the field are shuffling position quite regularly and now Diamond Geese has come through to take a turn in the lead with Ring of Kites and Valencia now also coming through Miliana Year has got back up again on the outside then comes Keep Alive who's got the rail and Twist Sarah now bursting back through as well so wide open this the Grey Fresno Witch wide on the track is also moving into it now so too tons of sobs on that one's inside as the stablemate Ring of Kites just dropped away a little as they took the fourth but a mistake by tons of sobs since that one lose its place they're inside the final mile now and keep alive on the inside of Twist Sarah. Diamond Geezer, the first of the Grays, is in third. Then comes Miliana, your journey of the legend, getting the first mention. Trapani is also trying to get closer as they get over the fifth. And Twist Sarah is in the lead by a battle length to keep alive in second. Then Diamond Geezer is in third. Journey of the legend, Piranha Strike, trying to get back into it again. Ring of Kites also coming back through Trapani with that one Hunter's cameras made a forward move as they get over the sixth there's just two more to take now then and it's Twist Sarah who's clear in front by about a length and a half to keep alive who's in second Ring of Kites is third Piranha Strike is four then Diamond Geezer then comes Journey of the Legend after that one Piranha Strike Fresno uh, Clever Cookies trying to get in there as well Fresno which round the outside but it's Twist Sarah who's still in front now Journey of the Legend comes through to challenge Journey of the Legend has taken it up and as they get over the second and last and Journey of a Legend has quickly gone too clear swinging into the home straight then now Journey of a Legend from Twist Sarah in second Diamond Geezer third Trapani four then comes Fresno Witch and Keep Alive racing down towards the final flight then now and Journey of a Legend is three clear two furlongs to go one flight to take Journey of a Legend Trapani's in second Diamond Geezer third Hunter Camera four Twist Sarah five Fresno Witch trying to run on over the final flight we go and now it's Trapani who comes through to challenge the lead Trapani's just about to Taking it up, but Journey of the Legend fights back. Hunter's camera comes between the two. Journey of the Legend on the inside looks the strongest. Twist Sarah's trying to close, but it's Journey of the Legend who looks like he's going to take it. Journey of the Legend takes it from Twist Sarah. Hunter's camera keep alive. Clever cookie for on a strike. Diamond Geezer all the way back to Miliana. Yeah. And one or two of the big guns failed to perform today, and that would have thrown next week's juveniles. Races right up in the air, then the, the form for them because some of the big fancies have finished down the field in that. And Journey of the Legend has taken it for Joshua Sutherland, 
Hunter's camera for James Shea was second. Twist Sarah for David Robertson, third. Keep Alive, Leon von Rensburg, fourth. And Clever Cookie for Paul Rose, fifth. Just looking down there, you see Trapani only sixth. Piranha Strike only eighth. Valencia only tenth. Shinobi only eleventh. Tons of Subs only 158, only thirteenth. And if the card goes down, we'll no doubt see a few more as well. Don't know if it is going to go down, though. Well, maybe that's down to the heavy going. Uh, maybe if it's different next week, you can also see yeah, after tons of subs, Woods takes at 114. It's also finished down the field. So maybe it's the heavy going that's done. It'll be interesting to see what we're going to get at Cheltenham next week.